This is a Tai Chi standing challenge. Can you stand it for 15 minutes? If you haven't seen the first video in this series, please watch that video first. It gives you all the guidelines you need to get the most out of the standing practice. For those who have been doing the standing practice, today we will do 15 minutes of standing. We'll get the timer started. Stepping out with the left foot, set the weight down onto the heels. Breathing in. Relax the shoulders and out. Second time. Settle the palms. Lengthen the spine. Breathing out. Bringing the hands up, shoulder height. Extending the fingers, lifting the thumbs. Set the shoulders down. Press the toes against the ground. Lift the torso, keeping the breath even, relaxed, and full.
Draw the left foot back to the right and close. Very good. 15 minutes of standing practice. The general process of the standing starts from the extremities through to the core, from the exterior to the interior. So in other words, figuring out where the hands are, where the feet are positioned to the focus of the alignment through the wrists and shoulders, ankles and knees, through to the upper arm and the thighs, getting used to holding those postures. From there, the attention travels to the torso, starting with the hips and the shoulders, and then the core of the body. I was mentioning last time about how to have a relaxed and open chest, which draws uh, the torso into alignment. Same thing for the low back, finding the structure that allows the low back to relax. And then from there, lengthening the spine. So that includes the alignment through the neck and the top of the head. Right? That allows the alignment of the body to lift upwards. And then coming through the front of the body, still focusing just on alignment, we have to relax the chest, which I mentioned last time, and then the abdomen or the diaphragm. Right? Empty the chest, allow the chi to settle to the lower abdomen. If we have the structure of the hips and legs correct, traditionally they talk about it forming an arch. Right? Rounding the crotch is the phrase, to form an arch. And so this creates a support around the pelvic floor, and that's uh, on which the lower abdomen, the dantian, can rest. Right? And so from there, all of this alignment and structure um, needs to uh, refine itself. So I guarantee you that there's more attention as you become more able to focus on these subtle details, uh, more on the interior. There'll be more things, subtle things to adjust and correct. So in a couple days or tomorrow, you can re-watch this video, do the standing practice some more. At 15 minutes, you have enough time and the body has enough conditioning that you can start to pay attention to these uh, more subtle details. It's still just about alignment. Those of you familiar with the microcosmic orbit, in terms of a Qigong exercise, you know that this is where it's going to. But at this point, we're still just talking about how to hold the body, how to condition the body, how to find that relaxed, expansive quality and build the structure uh, that allows the qi to move in its own dynamic. Uh, this is um, harder work, especially at the 15 minute mark, uh, but that's why I stand here. You can always open your eye and see, and that's why I stay in the video standing. It's also why the music is there. It's not just random music. Um, these things are there to keep the chi supported, to allow it to move freely without having it stirred up. So these are important things to keep in mind. As I said in the beginning, um, the point is to settle the mind and to settle the body uh, and to build that quality through the body gradually through a process. As you go through that process, that um, will provide uh, encouragement to continue on. So next time we will do 20 minutes of standing. Um, I look forward to joining you then.